Oh, there's the perennial Japanese beetle question about the beetle bags. Uh, the, the traps? Yep. You usually get those for a neighbor that you do not like. Okay. Because <laughs> actually what happens is we find that yes, they do attract Japanese beetle, but not all of them go into the trap. A lot of them end up on the ground around the trap, and if you've got turf there, they'll lay eggs, and you actually end up with a higher population than you would have originally. Okay. So if you're gonna get one for some place like here, what I would do is make arrangements to put it in the middle of a parking lot, where if you don't get them going into the trap, they go onto, this, onto the pavement, and so they can't lay eggs. So I put two up here, they're far away, but okay. they're in the field, so they right. should probably Pro move them. Yeah, I would put them on a hard surface, quite frankly. All right. Well, we, we do joke that you buy those as gifts for the neighbors that you don't like. It, does everyone realize Japanese, the larval stage, actually feeds on turf? So it's feeding on the roots of grass. So if you are one of those folks who likes a really lush lawn and waters a lot, you're going to have an increased probability of Japanese beetle. If you live near a golf course, you're going to have lots of Japanese beetle. Any place where there's a lot of grass, where they can lay eggs.